Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Armen, Professor Armen Astvat Satrian from Yerevan, Armenia, and today we will talk about uh, atelectasis. Atelectasis. So, what is atelectasis? Uh, when we talk about atelectasis, we have to understand that this is a collapse of lung tissue with loss of volume. Patients may have dyspnea or respiratory failure if atelectasis is extensive. Dyspnea and respiratory failure, of course, if atelectasis is, uh, atelectasis is extensive. They may also develop pneumonia. Atelectasis is usually asymptomatic, but hypoxemia and pleurotic chest pain may be present in certain cases. Diagnosis is by chest X-ray. Treatment includes maintaining coughing and deep breathing and treat treating, of course, the cause. But includes treatment includes maintaining coughing, cough, and treating the cause, of course. The natural tendency for open air spaces such as the alveoli to collapse is countered by the following. Okay, so the natural tendency for open air space such as the alveoli to collapse is countered by the following. Surfactant, which maintains surface tension. Continuous breathing, which keeps, which keeps the alveoli open. Intermittent deep breathing, which releases surfactant into the alveoli. Intermittent deep breathing, which releases surfactant into the alveoli, and periodic, periodic coughing, which clears the airways of secretions. Major consequences of atelectasis include underventilation with hypoxia and ventilation perfusion. Uh, a ratio V Q uh, mismatch. So with uh, under under ventilation, with hypoxia and ventilation perfusion ratio mismatch and pneumonia. About the etiology of atelectasis, the most common factors that can cause atelectasis include the following: intrinsic obstruction of airways, for example, by foreign body tumor mucous plug extrinsic compression extrinsic compression of airways for example by tumor lymphadenopathy suppression of respiration or cough for example by general anesthesia over sedation pain supine positioning particularly in obese patients and those with cardiomegaly Compression of compression of or compression or collapse of lung paren parenchyma. Uh, parenchyma, for example, by large pleural effusion or pneumothorax. Thoracic and abdominal surgeries and very common causes are very thoracic and abdominal surgeries are very common causes because they involve general anesthesia. Opioid use with possibly secondary respiratory digression and often painful respiration. A malpositioned endotracheal tube, malpositioned endotracheal tube, can cause atelectasis by occluding a mainstream bronchus. Mainstem bronchus. Less common cause of atelectasis include surfactant dysfunction and lung parenchymal scanning, scarring, sorry, or tumor. Scarring, lung parenchymal scarring or tumor. Less common causes of atelectasis included surfactant dysfunction and lung parenchymal scarring or tumor. About symptoms and signs symptoms and signs of atelectasis. Atelectasis itself is asymptomatic unless hypoxemia or 
uh, pneumonia develops. Symptoms of hypoxemia tend to be related to acuity, acuity and extent of atelectasis. With rapid extensive atelectasis, dyspnea or even respiratory failure can develop. With, with slowly developing less extensive atelectasis, symptoms may be mild or absent. Pneumonia may cause cough, dyspnea and pleurotic pain. Pleurotic pain may also uh, be due to the disorder that, that caused atelectasis. For example, chest pain, chest trauma, sorry, chest trauma surgery. Signs are often absent. Decreased breath sounds in the region of atelectasis and possibly dullness to percussion and decreased chest excursion are detectable if the area of atelectasis is large. Often is discovered only on chest imaging, for example, X-ray or computed tomography. So diagnosis of atelectasis, it's of course chest X-ray. We started with chest X-ray, not with computer tomography. Atelectasis should be suspected if in patients who have an unexplained respiratory symptoms and who have risk factors, particularly recent major surgery. Atelectasis that is clinically significant, for example, that cause symptoms, increased risk of complications or meaningfully affects pulmonary function, is generally visible on chest X-ray Findings can include lung op opacification and loss or loss and or loss and or huh? loss of lung volume. If the cause of atelectasis is not clinically apparent, for example, if it's not recent surgery or pneumonia seen on chest X-ray, or another disorder is suspected, for example, pulmonary embolism tumor, other tests such as bronchoscopy or chest computed tomography after this may be necessary after x-ray no do, don't start never with computer tomography treatment of atelectasis maximizing cough and deep breathing deep breathing 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 of course breathe maximizing cough and deep breathing if obstruction by tumor or foreign body is suspected bronchoscopy Evidence for the efficacy of most treatments for atelectasis is weak or absent. Nonetheless, commonly recommended measures include chest physiotherapy to help maintain ventilation and clearance of secretions and encouragement of lung expansion techniques such as direct cough, deep breathing exercises and use of an in incentive spirometer incentive spirometer in ambulatory patients exercise for example walking is desirable desirable way to promote deep breathing very desirable uh, avoiding over sedation helps ensure ventilation and sufficient deep breathing and coughing however however Severe pleuritic pain may impair deep breathing and coughing and may be relieved only with opioids. Thus, may, thus many clinicians prescribe opioid analgesics in doses sufficient to relieve pain and advise patients to consciously cough and take deep breath periodically. In certain postoperative patients, epidural analgesia so, epidural analgesia or an intercostal nerve block may be used to relieve pain without causing respiratory depression. Antitussive therapy should be avoided. Most importantly, the cause of atelectasis, for example, mucose plug, foreign body, tumor, mass pulmonary effusion should be treated for persistent mucose plugging, nebulized Dornase alpha and sometimes bronchodilators are, are tried and acetyl, uh, acetylcysteine and acetylcysteine is usually avoided because it can cause bronchoconstruction. 
If other measures are ineffective or if a cause of obstruction other than mucose plugging is suspected, suspected bronchoscopy should be done. About prevention. So, smokers can decrease their risk of postoperative atelectasis by, stop, by stopping smoking. Ideally, at least six to weeks, six to eight, six to eight weeks before surgery. Drug treatment for patients for chronic lung disorders, for example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease (COPD), should be optimized before surgery. Preoperative inspiratory muscle training, including in incentive spirometry, should be considered for patients scheduled for thoracic or upper abdominal surgery. After surgery, early ambulation and lung expansion techniques, for example, coughing, deep breathing exercise, incentive spirometry may also decrease the risk. <coughs> Key points. Atelectasis is reversible collapse of lung tissue with loss of volume. Common causes include intrinsic or extrinsic airway compression, hypoventilation and malpositioned endotracheal tube. A large area of atelectasis may cause symptomatic hypoxemia, but any other symptoms are due to the cause of a superimposed pneumonia. Superimposed pneumonia. Diagnosis is by chest X-ray. If the cause is not clinically apparent, bronchoscopy or chest computed tomography may be needed. Treatment involves maximizing coughing, deep breathing, and whenever possible, walking. And that's all concerning uh, atelectasis. Thanks for your attention. Please do not subscribe. Do not <laughs> yes, <laughs> thanks for a joke. Please do not forget to subscribe and follow, follow our channel, Dr. Y. And uh, once again, please, uh, if it's possible, make your donations because with, our, with your donates we can exist. So, thank you in advance. Goodbye and God bless you.